Hello, Salo, Ahlan. My name is Victor. This is the first of six learning videos I made for the IT and Media Lab at the Anka project. I want to teach you what you need to know about IT and media as a first time computer user. The language and text will be easy to understand, and you can see the meanings and translations of hard words in the video description. If you have any questions in any language, please write them in the comments below. Let's begin! This is a computer. I'm sure you've seen one like this before. Many people use computers to work, have fun, make art, or talk to others, for example by sending emails. Computers are important in classrooms, medicine, and office work. Do you have a phone? Well, that's a computer as well. Next to the personal computer and the smartphone, there are also supercomputers, mainframe, and workstation computers, specialized in different things. Well, first of all, what you are seeing is not entirely what the computer is made of. The computer is made of hardware and software. Hardware are the physical parts of a computer, so parts that you can touch. There is a power button with which you can turn the computer on and off. The computer gets the electricity it needs through a power cable. As you can see here, all the other hardware parts are connected through the computer by cable. Here you can see a screen. The keyboard is used to input or type in things. The mouse is used to navigate the computer screen. Software are all the programs and data on the computer that tell the hardware how to work. On the left side, you see all the programs or applications that are on this computer. Like the browsers, Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge, but also applications like WhatsApp, Unify and PodPlayer 64-bit. There are some useful apps that I can show you for just a moment. For example, take the Paint app. Here you can see how I just create little art pieces on my computer. It is very easy. Here, there's a calculator. 1 plus 1 is 2. Later, another important app is the storage folder. All the documents you store on your computer are shown. In the lower corner, you see the recycle bin. You can throw away whatever data you don't need. In the red circle, you see the text documents that are saved on your computer. These can be saved on your desktop or they can be in your storage folders. On the bottom line, you see all those little apps in your taskbar, but also a search bar on the desktop. On the left corner, you see the Windows tab. From there, you can access different apps, search for data, and put in other commands. On the right lower side, you see small information like sound, devices that are connected, and settings, the date and the time, and notifications. All right, let's come back to the definition. What does a computer do exactly? A computer is a machine that uses electronics to input, process, and then output data. First, you input your information. You put the information into the computer by typing into your keyboard. The computer then processes the information that you type in. It calculates and changes data following your instructions. These instructions were given to the computer before. They are written in form of computer programs. At the end, when the computer has processed the data, it shows the result or the new data on the screen. And that is the output. So let me give you a very simple example. You have the question one plus one and you don't know the answer. So you type in one plus one in your keyboard and input that data. Then when you click enter or you click start, the computer knows what you want to do with those numbers. You want to add them together. So the computer finds out the answer for the question one plus one. 
2. After it finds out that answer, it shows you the answer on the computer monitor. And that is the output. You input something, the computer changes that information or gains information, and then it shows you that new information on screen. But this is just a calculation, an easy one. It's nothing more than that. Computers can do so much more. You might ask yourself, if you don't do just simple calculations, what do you do as a beginner with a computer? Well, what I will show you in these videos is how you write text and presentations, send emails and store information. So in the next video, I will show you how email works and how you can send and receive emails. See you soon. Bye bye.